to to me is looking at the simple things in your life that enjoy and I think it's really easy to get fixated on all of the materialistic things that come into our life uh, that make us think that we're going to be happy but really they just take joy away from us so I think gratitude practice is looking at those things that are already there within your reach that you don't need to go and buy you don't need to go and find they're there for you and I think it's important to do that to keep you grounded and to actually find that true happiness not that short-term uh, instant gratification it's that long-term joy um, gratitude for me is just being thankful for all of the blessings that I have in my life and everything this world has to offer, like this beautiful nature around us. Uh, and I think gratitude is important because um, it just makes you live a happier life. Um, it, when you are grateful for all the things around you and you appreciate everyone and everything around you, it's just a much better way to go through life. Gratitude. Um for me, it's being grateful um, for many things, being, up, being grateful for getting up in the morning, for, for living in a world that we're very lucky um, to be part of, to um, contributing in a positive way to the world. So, for me, it's about um, stopping and thinking first thing in the morning, and um, this might come later, <laughs> about how, how, I, how I start my, practicing my gratitude, is stopping and thinking about what, when we wake up in the morning, about what, what the day has to offer and what I'm thankful for, and then also how can I offer something back. Gratitude to me is having thanks for the things that I have, but also to really appreciate what it is that we have and appreciate that everyone has different things in their life that make them who they are. Um, so yeah, I think we should be thankful for that every day. Gratitude helps me achieve my goals and dreams by first of all, making me realize what they really are. I think without think that you want but you actually really don't so by having that gratitude practice you're able to actually realize what it is that you're going for and wanting in life the biggest job money and all that kind of stuff it's just things that will get you through day to day and fill your cup and keep you in positive relationships uh, having gratitude and wellness um, just makes me um, more satisfied with my life and helps me to uh, love myself more, which makes me um, a better person in everything that I do, in being a mother, in my job, and everything else that I do outside of. Well, in the in the work I do, it's fast paced and there's a lot of noise around. What I find if I have gratitude and wellness for me, and I start with a clear intent, it passes through everything I do all day with everyone I work with. Um, on a daily basis, um, I write down three things that I'm grateful for every morning when I wake up and I um, do my best to tell all the people in my life um, that I'm grateful for them whenever I can. Uh, having gratitude and wellness um, just makes me um, more satisfied with my life and helps me to uh, love myself more, which makes me um, a better person in everything that I do, in being a mother, in my job. <laughs> So I, I practice gratitude in, in a couple of ways. So I start my day um, with getting up and doing a, a quiet meditation. And uh, at the end of the at the end of the meditation, I think about um, three things that I'm grateful for for, for the day, and it can be um, many different things. And then um, at the dinner table, I'm 
very lucky to have a husband and four children and we sit there and have our meals together at night and we can talk about our day and what we're grateful for. So, so we try and practice it a couple of times a day. Yeah, I think in my everyday life I try to show thanks for what it is that I have and the people around me um, by doing the best that I can and being the best that I can and um, being there for the people that I love and care about. Um, yeah, and always recognizing that what I have is a real privilege. Gratitude has changed my life I look at the time where I was taking care of my dad when he was really sick. Gratitude in such a terrible circumstance, in such a sad time in my life, I was able to find that possible that day. Having more time, being able to hear stories from him, and being able to spend more time with my family, which wouldn't usually happen if we were on our own paths during our own lives. So yeah, gratitude brought me back down and grounded me during that time. This retreat has helped me with gratitude because I've been given the time to sit with myself and whether it's the that I'm grateful for the yoga and the time that I get to work with my body and stretch it and um, find that relaxation but also looking back from where I'm coming from Sydney and what I miss there and what I'm looking forward to going back to as well so I think retreat really allows you that space and that time and encouragement to really think about those things. Uh, this retreat was just amazing I didn't know what to expect when I came and everything just wonderful from the second I arrived I felt welcomed and cared for and very safe and um, immediately made connections with the other women here with all of the, the staff everyone is so kind and generous and does such a great job of taking care of you and feeling so taken care of made me um, have time to really um, reflect on who I am and really get back into the person that I am and that I want to be, um, which has made me incredibly grateful for this opportunity to come here. Um, I just feel so much better after all of the activities this week. I have so much that stress and anxiety and I just, you know, I can feel, you know, they say like you walk away glowing and I can just feel that. I, I feel like this has just done wonders to um, make me feel relaxed and rejuvenated and ready to go back to the real world, but with a little bit different approach than I did before. So, yeah. I'm grateful to Janine, um, to the amazing team here. work that I've been doing and what's going on as they shed I've got four children. Um, it's helped quite a lot of the noise and helped me realise as much as I've practiced gratitude, it's given me it's it's such a, a beautiful environment to be in. Um, you nourish from the food, the care Uh, this retreat has just been so rewarding on many levels. I think every day, all the activities that we've done, um, yeah, have contributed to our wellness across the week. Um, but yeah, just shown us how we can be the best versions of ourselves and yeah, be grateful for everything that we have in our lives, including this amazing experience. Long time I've been not at 
war with my body, but never been fully aligned with what's going on internally. And continuously in that rat race of trying to push forward and keep going. And you know, the actual therapeutic treatments, I've had such a release in my body and in my energy levels, they've come back and my sleep has been phenomenal. But also getting that consultation to actually understand what kind of um, body I'm working with and what kind of energy I have already um, naturally, I'm able to now go forward and work with it and stop working against it, which is really free. Um, as much as I enjoy the, the wellness and everything that we've been doing, I also love to explore and go on adventures. So I did the bucket list package and that was just an amazing mix for me of getting to go and explore the area, do some fun things like I got to go surfing. Um, and I also got to climb Mount Vittoria yesterday, which was a great experience. So getting out and being able to see the area to experience the culture um, and uh, take some amazing pictures has been wonderful on top of all of the, the great wellness activities and everything we've been doing here. A positive transformation for me is um, about what I'll do next. I'm very excited about that. So I'm happy to come back and share a little bit more about that down the track. But um, it, it, it's given me the clarity. I had a lot in my mind, um, but it's certainly given me the clarity of, of what comes next. My package was the Ayurveda and my favorite part of the retreat, it's so hard to say, but I think it's probably the people and that's all the people that work here, but also the other people that were traveling. I think everyone came together and that was just really beautiful to experience in all the different activities that we did. My highlights of the retreat, honestly, the room is phenomenal. It's so good. I just felt so relaxed going into that space every day, every night. And so going on the day trip to the was phenomenal. Any of the Balinese uh, traditions that we the culture, I just appreciate it so much. It's so much of that you can really process the teaching of the Balinese itself. Oh, <laughs> the highlights, there's so many. That's why I go, <laughs> where do I start? I love, I love it. And so you have the opportunity um, to be part of a cultural immersion. The treatments are for many resorts. Um, that I've stayed, that I've been fortunate enough to stay in, and any retreats that I've been lucky enough to be part of. The treatments here are exceptional. Um, the team members, every single one, um, I'm sure are handpicked. They've just been amazing, I've been incredibly fortunate. Uh, the room, I love the room. When I walk in every day, I'm not going to share too much about that. What I will share is pump. Or wanted. Feeling refreshed, rejuvenated, and really relaxed. I just feel like I'm floating out of this place um, with no worries in the world and uh, like I can go back to my everyday life, um, yeah, with a new sense of self. My advice to anyone that is to uh, go on that wellness journey and help themselves in that way is to take a step back. Don't be afraid to go alone. Coming here by myself has been so freeing. I've had time to sit with myself and listen to myself without the external noise. And I think in this day and age with social media and everything that we trace our own life, it's been hard to find that space and to be able to find it in the If you're looking to change your life through wellness, I would highly recommend this. I literally just stumbled across this when I was Googling something on the internet. I wasn't even thinking of going to a place or coming to Bali, which is completely on the other side of the world for me. And um, I, I saw that and I was like, it turned out to be wonderful. I think it's a great 
creating a catalyst to um, set you on that journey to whatever it is you want to change in your life, to um, taking care of yourself and really um, putting yourself first so that you can be there for everyone else in your life. I think I do have, and I know it's dependent on everyone's circumstances, if, if you're looking to change your life, I think um, making a step forward, I think we need to stop and look within. And everybody, I know everyone has different circumstances, everyone has something to be grateful for, and once you start, it's amazing how one thing becomes positive and positive and positive things. For those of you that are in the retreat, you're coming up. That's what I'll say. everyday life uh, that can really make a difference and yeah so I think my advice would be just make a start and if people have the opportunity coming here will also do wonders.